Hey, what's up, everyone? Team Captain Kevin here with Kevin, also a team member. Um, Kevin got first place at the Card Forge tournament that we collaborated with them. Um, they're our new sponsors, which is awesome. Um, shout out to Dale Mac, who threw in an insane prize pool cash to the tournament. Thanks to him. Uh, his tournament's going to be in February 22nd. So make sure to register for that. It's going to be huge, really competitive teams. West Coast, East Coast will be there. So check it out. And Kevin, so first place, champ, what did you play? I played Tricolor Broly. Tricolor Broly, we know that that deck is super busted because of Button and all that. Um, how did you do um, during the tournament? Uh, I did pretty well uh, during S Swiss. I only lost once and that was to Marcus Kuntarsi. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the other the other one was, I went X1 once, that means I drew with a Beers player, Leo. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And then you obviously, it was a top 16 uh, cutoff for to, uh, playoffs, correct? Yeah. And how many rounds was it for the Swiss? Uh, for the Swiss, I believe it was six rounds. Six rounds, so it was a pretty heavy day. Um, top 16 uh, playoffs. Yeah. And then had to play it the same day. <laughs> yeah, it was a long day, but really awesome. Um, Kevin, let's just start the deck profile. All right, well, you got the Broly leader. Obviously, Broly's yeah. good. Yeah, and the back ability, even better. All right. And it really helps with a lot of situations. Okay, so first off, I got Android 21. Uh, this card uh, helps me steal a lot of games. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's basically what it is for. If you see this in your hand, just charge it. Yeah, easy charge for burn, right? Yeah, easy charge. All right, so. And then I also have what you're also gonna charge for your multicolored green, blue, is the Android 17. I played on map a couple times and uh, it, it helps when it comes to when your opponent combos multi and you don't want them to. Okay. And then I also have Android 16, that's your ramp engine. Play four of those? Yeah, okay. play four of those. So I have a total of 10 uh, green, blue, multicolor. And then for my super combos, I played Jocko's. Okay. It could be anything. I didn't have any shoes. So <laughs> <laughs> some super combos? Yeah, I need All some right. super combos. And then I played, well, whoops. I played. Three UIs. Three UIs, okay. Yeah. Uh, being able to bounce it to your hands, anything, it came in clutch a lot. I played the one, uh, double strike. Uh, this is for just in case I needed to go double strike, even with leader, you yeah. know, anything. And then I played three piccolo. How, how good was that card for you that day? Oh, uh, it helped me dominate the board. Yeah. Because once this is out, it's just the board is kind of shut off for my opponent if they're not really, if they're not playing like a mirror match. It really helps with almost everything. Awesome. And then I got this Piccolo. And then that's just to bring it out. Once this is out, it's just the board is kind of shut off for my opponent if they're not really, if they're not playing like a mirror match. It really helps with almost everything. Awesome. And then I got this Piccolo. And then that's just to bring it out cheaper, right? Yeah. Like if I don't see the 16s, um, this helps bring this out, and so that I so I could just. Uh, have, have it set up at least. Yeah, the, it fulfills the bond because mm -hmm. you need another battle card on the field. So it fulfills two requirements. Yeah. Getting it out early and just, you know, uh, be, getting it there. And then I have the Vegeta the Cruel. Some counterplay, it's okay. Yeah, it was a great counterplay. It does a lot, especially for decks that don't draw as much as you. And then I have... Four apes, all right. Mm -hmm. I played four mostly because I wanted to abuse the most out of Zeno Button. Yeah. And uh, this card just really helps with dual attackers, etc., etc. And then... Which is a powerful call. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially since they both activate after the battle. Yeah. And I also have... So SS, two Broly's. Yeah, Broly. This is when it gets to the other engine, which is yellow. Okay. I had this Broly mostly just to tap my opponent down or, or destroy something that I think is too big. All right. I played one Champa. Uh, the reason why I played only one Champa was just uh, draw card, just help uh, rest stuff. Okay. And then I had two Mutatas. Oh, okay, two Mutatas and one Champa. Yeah. So you're prepared for the boss cards like the Migra and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then. And it was also for Baby. Baby, yeah. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want them to restand. Keep, yeah, restand, keep going off, and like for example, SS4, just shut it yeah. off. Yeah, Mutatas is just really good if you're playing yellow right now. It is. And then we have Zeno Button. Three uh, Zeno buttons. Yes. Uh, breeze this card while you can. This card's gonna go away soon, which is unfortunate, but this card was MVP. I even, uh, you'll see that my side deck, I added another one. One last route for Zeno button. Mm -hmm. 
and I had the standard four cents of beans. Just four cents of beans. The yeah, beans, beans always beans. good. Yeah. And then I mained three Nimbus. So that was your defense? Yeah, or... this was my defense, uh, and I had a bunch of uh, like eights, etc., etc. Yellow cards I needed yeah. to ditch off of it. This was meant purely for the baby matchup. Which, surprisingly enough, I didn't actually get to play at the event, but it helped against other matchups. Alright, nice. And then I also have uh, my my Seeker Rare, which is Vegito. The Vegito helps more than SS for Vegeta, because it taps your opponent down. And if they're playing a non-blue color, it just... Yeah, it just, it's pretty much just game. Probably. Yeah, and not to mention you can just restand them with your leader. Yeah, just attack again. Yeah. All right, y'all combat it. I'll attack again. That's then. really powerful. And then last but not least, I have Bloodlust as my last extra card. Yeah, this is a Freeze's army leader, so you need to play Bloodlust, mm -hmm. especially with one that's playing tri one that's playing tricolor. Yeah, and then for my last overrun, I have. Two Fu the Dark Banishers. And that's just for like. It's for almost any matchup. Yeah. Because. Uh, Hatchak, it's good against Hatchak too, right? Oh, Hatchak, definitely. Because they can't. They, they keep half the ditch cards if they want to do anything at all. And then um, I had to play this instead of the other Mira because 16's uh, a restriction. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good call then. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the main deck for you. All right, so. And uh, just overall being very good tournament organizer. Yeah, it was huge. This tournament was really awesome. Yeah. We got some good competition here. We could hold lots of players here. So um, thank you again, Cardforge, for hosting the tournament. And thank you to Dale and Mac as well. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure to go to their Tournament of Power, which is the 22nd of February. Uh, there's going to be a huge cash prizing, so make sure to be there. Yeah. And also, uh, the rest of top 16 got the uh, free invites, so yeah. a lot of our players are going to be going over there to support Dale and Mac and compete. So you'll be, you'll be seeing us over there, yeah, which is going to be awesome. And any last shout-outs, Kevin? Mm. How about for your team? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, the shout-out to my team, the dudes. They helped support me, especially a lot of the teammates just to help me make this monstrosity of a tricolor deck. <laughs> cool. uh, but it... Uh, just, I'm very thankful for them too. For All right, awesome. Out. Thank you so much again for the deck profile, and we'll be seeing you, seeing you soon for more events. All right. All right. Catch you later, dudes.